Welcome back, everyone. Today's Monday's meal is going to be yummy. We have Lee Craster from Duck and Roll in the house joining us. Hi there, Lee. Great to Hi, have ladies. you along. Hi, ladies. Thank you for having you us. Are making, we are excited. Um, fried lobster roll. First time I ever had a lobster yes. roll was in in Boston. That again, oh, very typical. That had to be a good. Yeah, one. that was a great lobster roll, original lobster roll, mm -hmm. and that's what you're trying to bring in. Well, with, that's kind of what we're known stuff. for. Definitely, is our traditional uh, lobster rolls, very main style. We also have some other New England specialties, like mm -hmm. a Rhode Island, a Long Island, and Connecticut as well. But today, we're kind of mixing it up a little bit different. We're going to make a fried lobster roll, or what Texas we call style. Our style. Texas style. Exactly. <laughs> we love anything fried around here. <laughs> so I'm just going to get started. Okay. okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, and you mentioned Maine lobster. You actually get that lobster fresh from Maine several times a week. Yeah, we get you. it uh, flown down from a uh, company called Ready Seafood out of mm -hmm. Portland. Mm -hmm. Some really, really great fresh meat. They're really all about sustainability and traceability with their product, and that kind of really um, got us into wanting to do business with yeah. them. Not to mention that they're also kind of younger kids like ourselves, and we just kind of really made a really good friendship out of it. Very so. cool. Talk a little bit about the batter. There's some special ingredients. Yeah, in so we actually use uh, some of our local favorite beer here called Shinerbach to make this uh, batter. We know, we know Shiner, and, right? Um, Shiner's good. Just a very Dave? simple little beer batter. <laughs> Dave, <laughs> it sounds like Dave's going to want to try this Shiner. one out maybe now. <laughs> he was sitting on the sidelines, but he might some. jump in. Yeah. So yeah, you just kind of... Dip it nicely in this batter that you make. Um, the recipe for the batter is online. We didn't really have time to mix it together right now. But um, it's very simple. It's just about a cup of cup of beer, about mm -hmm. a cup of flour, and one egg. Oh, okay. Yeah, very um, simple. Now, if I don't have a deep fryer, can I make this um, uh, maybe in a, uh, in a deep skillet that's stove top yeah, with definitely. a lot of oil in it? Yeah, definitely. If you have a pot at home, a yeah. deep-sized pot, and maybe a candy thermometer or something like that, you heat the oil up to about 325. and. Yeah, it's a really fun thing to do with the family, yeah. too. We were also talking about other substitutes for the lobster, like shrimp yeah, that you could use, or maybe yeah, some definitely. type of fish lobster if you Lobster might be a little to too pricey right. for the family every now and then. Well, and to get fresh lobster like a that. A fresh lobster might even be more expensive yeah. for the yeah. family. Um, so yeah, if you want to substitute shrimp or oysters or even chicken, Ooh, you oyster. know, you kind of go in whatever direction you would like to yeah. with it. Now you're making a slaw. Each of your sandwiches comes with uh, your homemade slaw or Or chips. our homemade potato chips. Okay. Yeah, we oh. actually use some really nice, actually Texas-grown uh, potatoes that we thin slice and fry ourselves. Okay, kind those of sound similar. delicious. That would be a hard decision for me. I think I would go with both, <laughs> maybe, if yeah. I could have the homemade I slaw I and the chips. Yeah. But the slaw looks really good. Tell us what you're doing there. Yeah, so uh, we just have some nice uh, shredded green cabbage, red cabbage, and carrots. Um, we make some homemade pickle in-house and a mm. little bit of roasted corn. Mm -hmm. This is kind of a remoulade dressing, which is a very kind of standard uh, New Orleans po' boy accompaniment. It's like Creole mustard base Yummy. with a little okay. bit of uh, lemon and a little bit of hot sauce. Basically. Now, as you're finishing up the sandwich here in the coleslaw, we don't we don't want to let you go without talking about your locations. You've got yes, oh, yes, two please, food definitely. trucks that are permanent, and then one mm -hmm. that roams yeah, the we area. Yeah, we have our we have our original. Um, Airstream trailer down on South First Street that's been there for a little over two years now, right next to Elizabeth Street Cafe. And then we have our uh, second location out in Westlake in the new Midway Food Park that's been open for about a year. Really great, really Very open. Very cool like, food park out there. Yeah, really fun. Friday and Saturday, there's always music and if you guys are open. And you've got lots of room to park too yeah. there. As, yeah, as tons, of, tons of yeah. room. About so it's, it's convenient 80 spots to get or something to. like that. Yeah. Very convenient to get to. So we got the nice lobster that just came out of the fryer. It's oh, kind of golden look brown. look at that. Wow. Yeah, that looks wow. great. And um, we're just going to toss a little. It's good to have a towel in the bowl so you <laughs> yeah. kind of pat off a little bit of the yeah. excess oil. It makes you feel a little better about it. Yeah, exactly. And I was I was checking out your menu um, because my husband loves lobster rolls. Mm. Well, he's and, got you guys got to come back. Oh, yes. we will. If we don't um, this week, we definitely will this weekend. Um, but you've also got a kids menu for for moms like That's me who have do. two little yes. ones. The kids we menu have a kids is menu. So definitely, we do some grilled cheese and stuff. We actually um, one like of that. our other sandwiches uh, involves chicken fried bacon, Whoa. and so some of the uh, kids have really enjoyed oh, no. the chicken yeah. fried bacon. I <laughs> see the kids liking that one. Chicken yeah, fried bacon. Sure. You, know, you sold pretty... me on grilled cheese. That's, that's... <laughs> So That's the chicken fried bacon know. and cheese has become a pretty popular. And we're actually okay. considering trying to put a lobster grilled cheese on the menu, too. Maybe a little Ooh. thing for parents yes. and kids. Yes. Love so we put just a little bit of the remoulade dressing in our nice bread. This actually comes from Swedish Hill Bakery here okay. in town. Mm -hmm. Really great local bakery. Mm -hmm. I squeeze just a little bit of lemon over the lobster because yep. I like the kind of acidity that it brings. And then get some gloves on, just kind of toss it all together. And the then, salon. you know, I like to kind of lay the lobster in there first. Yep. Uh -huh. Make it like the uh, you know star of the program. Oh, that is wow. beautiful. Yeah, this, and then this we'll kind of just get a little bit of that on top. Fried lobster roll. If you can't make it at home, then uh, go out and get a bite to eat today. Your yeah, um, your hours roll. are open. What time are you guys open for lunch? Uh, we open at eleven o'clock so? every day. Monday's actually our South First location is closed, okay. but okay. Midway location is open seven days a week. 
And starting Tuesday through Sunday, we open the South First up again. And then we have our food truck that's roaming around town doing catering and office and right. lunches and stuff Twitter? like that. We're on Twitter at Dock and Roll. We're on Facebook at Dock and Roll Diner. And we're also on Instagram. So Great. come follow us. And, there you uh, have it. Here we go. Fried Lobster Pro right, Boy. Lee, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you guys, too.